Hey there everybody, this package just arrived. Let's get it open and see what's in there. Hey, there it is. Alright, I see a decent looking leather sheath. It's stamped marbles. It's got a uh, belt loop in it so you can wear it on a belt. It's got a lot of rivets going on, although some of them look a little wonky. See there. Okay, probably gonna need two hands to get this out because this plastic's pretty tight. All right. Okay, two separate pieces of plastic there. And the sheath doesn't look too bad, believe it or not. It's, it's not the thickest leather, but it's not ultra thin either. And it definitely has that leather smell. But here is... Oh, look, one of the rivets come off of something already. Yep, yeah, I knew it looked really, really rough. Although I don't, I don't see a missing rivet anywhere. That's weird. Oh, there it is right there. Yep. I'll have to get that put back on. Oh, so much for the quality, I guess. Okay, there it is, tiny little, almost mirror polished, Marbles Hunter's Axe. It's the number nine, sometimes it's listed as number 009. DB for, you see that right there? Stands for douchebag, I mean double bit. That's what it stands for, double bit. Oh, that's cool. The eye of it looks really interesting. It looks like it's got a steel wedge in it. This axe head, all they listed is list it as is stainless steel. So I don't know what grade of stainless steel it is. It could be 440, it could be 420. I just don't know. Very thick. Whoa. Very, very thick. You could you can tell that this should probably do pretty good at small splitting chores just because of the uh, shape of it. It's a satin finish head, but it's, it's getting near the uh, mirror polished realm. I don't know if I like the way it's hung right there. The way you see some of that splits in the wood. I know it was done on purpose, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. Mine said it had a dark brown handle, and in real life it's kind of a reddish orangish brown, I guess. And stamped into the wood, it's actually pressed into the wood, it says marbles. It's got like a moose head, and this is for every hour in the open. And it it looks like the wood grain is okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's got a little runoff here and there. But they got it angled the right direction for the blades going either way. I don't know if it, you can even make that out on camera, but it is. It's got a bit of a palm swell here, I guess you would call it, for lack of a better word. Throat, belly, whatever. Then it dips in and gets real narrow. And then just the slightest of uh, like a palm swell down here at the bottom to help it not slip out of your hand. It has some oil on the blade even though it's stainless steel. 
and uh, the handle even feels a bit like it's been lightly oiled. So I'm going to go get some of this oil off real quick and we'll do some measurements. Well, I got uh, cleaned up a little bit. You can see, like I was saying, it's almost a mirror polish on there. I mean, it's just about there. You can see me there in the reflection. Hello, everyone. But yeah, let's, the edge feels like it might be somewhat sharp. So let's uh, get some measurements and do an edge test. Okay, you're looking at about a three inch cutting edge. And then overall, you got about 15 inches. And then just the width of the head, going clear down here to the blade, it is about five and an eighth. Easy five inches. Yeah. Okay, here it is, straight out of the package. I haven't done anything to it. I got a sheet of really thin, like catalog paper. We'll see if it's sharp at all. Not very sharp. That's weird too because it, it kind of feels like it has an edge on it on both sides. All right, here it is beside the bison hatchet. Bison has a little bit larger blade, but the marbles might be a hair longer. Here it is beside a uh, Lowe's uh, project source hatchet. I got it really oiled up because these things are prone to rust. But you can see it's pretty thick. Just like this one's pretty thick. Alright, this is just to give you a size comparison. This is the Hudson Bay. Most people know how large it is. This is the little Condor Kepart. You can see about the size of the axe head in comparison. Okay, there you have it. I don't think I know anything more about it to tell you I fixed that rivet already that was it was this one right here I just uh, I put crazy glue on it and then I took a rivet setter and just smacked it just to make sure it seems like it's fine but like I said some of these rivets are not so great these are made in India they're pretty low quality I would say I was hoping it would be better, but I mean, it is what it is. But because it is like a hard stainless steel, you're probably going to need a power tool or a good file to sharpen it up. And what's so weird is like it actually feels pretty sharp to touch it, but it's not paper cutting sharp. I think it would do okay at splitting right now it probably wouldn't be very good at feather sticks or anything like that unless you put a better edge on it but it would work for small kindling splitting small kindling you know but it looks really cool and if you want to put the work in on the edge i think you could make it all right you know i don't know how well this handle is going to hold up right here just because it's such an odd looking design. 
but maybe it'll hold up great who knows my gut says it won't <laughs> but you know but there you have it if you want a, a double bit belt hatchet here's one made by marbles and I don't think one side is thicker than the other you know it just uh, they look like they're pretty uniform but I can see looking down at like this how off the grind is I don't know if it's showing up on camera very well no not really it's just someone rushed it through and quick quick uh, put an edge on it you know You'd have to reprofile it a little bit, get it more even on each side, and then put a decent edge on it. And that's not going to be super easy because it's thick stainless steel, but it can be done using a, a good file or a good grinder. Probably a MDF wheel would probably do it. A good belt sander would do it. But I think... On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I'd say this comes in around, it's not terrible, I'd say about a 4. Just because you're going to have to do a lot of work to it. But it does look really good. But that's all I have for this video. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.